All right, so we'll start to teach Charlie how to walk on a leash. And the way we're gonna do that is with this head halter, it's called a transitional leash. Um, and basically we're just gonna teach him how to sit down at my side and do nothing, just like he's doing right now, like a good boy. Um, and basically the, the transitional leash um, works just like it did when he was a little baby and with his mom. Um, so the mama dog corrects the babies by holding their snout in her nose until they settle down a little bit. And basically it's the exact same thing. So he'll learn how to calm down when you ask him to. So, but first we have to teach him that this translates to the leash. What are you, what are you tasting there, buddy? Okay. So he's probably thinking this is kind of strange. You're a good boy, you're such a sweet baby. Okay, pretty good, dog trained. So I'm just putting up gentle pressure until he sits or lays down, I don't really care. Good. Oh, you're smart. Here you go. So he can still fully open his mouth with this on. He can drink, eat. So really the, the function is on the top of his nose. It adds a little bit of pressure. Good, and he's figuring it out. Oh, are you gonna just fall over? Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna take a step or two and then ask him to sit again. going to be very hard because you're so cute. Oh, good boy. Come on. All right, we'll try and move a little more fluidly in a circle. And I always turn away from him because that way he's automatically behind me. As opposed to turning to my left would be turning into him. All right, that's pretty good. So I like to end off the session with a, a little bit of place work. Let me just make sure the camera's still rolling. Yep, okay. So place is just this raised cot. I'm just gonna lead him on there. Yeah, what do you think? Boy, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, <gasps> good boy, good job, baby, good job. Okay, so we'll ask him to sit. We can take off the nose part. Now we're teaching him another part of the system using your body pressure. So I'll move around a little bit. <laughs> You're so tired, buddy.
So that's your off-leash correction that you can always do if he jumps on the counter or he jumps on a person. You can just walk into him once he understands this system that walking towards him means he should sit down. Because if you think about it, when I'm teaching him this on place, it's going to be the same picture to him that he's going to see even when he's not on place. So the idea is to kind of generalize it.